The exciting bit about this school is we're an all-through school, so we have just under 1,500 children from Year R all the way to Year 11. So that's four-year-olds up to 16-year-olds. Having access to Mind Apple resources, it's not only thinking about how that, that you know, what that looks like in school for our, our pupils, but also how that can be accessed for our parents and carers, and how that's promoted. One of the biggest things um, for me as head teacher of the school is to be able to um, work with a team of staff to grow young people. Uh, our secondary school pupils are. Um, hitting the emotional um, development stage which uh, they really struggle with so actually arming them with those tools to really help them understand their mental health um, and to really be proactive about their mental health is, is vital for them. Mind Apples training was awesome. Um, we did the online training program because it enabled us to ask lots of questions and go into lots of detail about how we might use it in our school um, and how it could benefit us, uh, our staff and also our pupils. As members of staff, the, the resources that we've been given by Mind Apples have been brilliant. They're really eye-catching, really colourful and, and really engaging for staff and pupils. Um, I like to listen to music watch a movie. Five things a day. Some pupils will be sitting down talking about the things that they can do at home um, around getting out into outdoor space. Eating rice and doing karate. I'm going to write down exercise because I like playing football and running. I'm going to shower before I sleep and read my special book. Going to extracurricular clubs, doing runs, uh, even going swimming. Um, in my opinion, we need to be talking positively about mental health and it's how we share and talk about it openly. Can we start to support over each other and ourselves individually?